YouTube, it's Lena, and here's something I haven't done in a while. It's a Dollar Tree haul! Yay! So, I was going... I do stop into the Dollar Tree very regularly, but I usually only wind up leaving with a couple of things, and they're things I buy regularly, so I haven't been filming any hauls in a while. But I went today to get some Easter stuff, and they had a lot of good, great beauty stuff that's not normally in there. So I figured I'd do a haul today. Now, first off, I do want to show that recently I picked up as many of the LA Colors lip balms as I could because I wanted to do a swatch video for you guys. And I did throw these into a makeup haul because at the time I didn't have much to show from the Dollar Tree. But I just wanted to show these real quick. They are a thing that exists in my collection now. Now, something else I got from a previous haul, not a previous haul, but a previous time that I went in, I picked, I do have a planner, so I do pick up stickers on occasion now, and I just thought these were really cute. They are handmade, supposedly. They have a bunch of traveling places in them. So they have like Egypt, Japan, a whole bunch of other places, Paris. So I thought these were really cute, and they're the ones that have like the texture on them so that you can like feel them and they like stand up and stuff. So, really cool. Now, on to the stuff that I bought today. I got like two food things. This is the Breakfast Blend Medium Roast Coffee from Mountain High Coffee Premium Coffee. They're K-Cups, guys. The Dollar Tree is K-Cups. I have no idea how good these are. If you have tried these before, let me know down below. But I'm gonna try these, and I will probably have tried these by the time this goes up. So if I think they're disgusting or not, I will leave a quick little note or say something down below, just depending. But I thought that was really cool. They have cake ups. I mean, it's not a great price. It's four for a dollar, but I thought it'd be cool to try them. The other food item I have is these little mac and cheese single serving things. I am, I'm a big girl, so we're not going to play any surprises there. I do really love mac and cheese, but I don't need to make like a whole thing just for me. So sometimes when I'm craving it, why not have a little thing in the side? I have no idea how the Dollar Tree's mac and cheeses. I know like Kraft makes these for like quarter a pack, but I figured, hey, let's try it. If it's any good, I'll keep buying it. If not, I'll just buy the Kraft. So, getting into at least some of the beauty, I picked up some e.l.f. nail polish remover pads. I have no idea how good these are. I've seen them in like the e.l.f. display at Target and stuff before, but I, they do have a fresh citrus scent, so who knows, who knows how well that smells. There's 24 to a pack. I've never had much luck with these before. They usually take like two or three to get all of my nail polish off, but it's nice to have in a pinch. Let's go ahead and dig the other one I got out of here. Okay, I think these are the only two I got. Some people have been posting online that they're finding Physician's Formula nail polishes. Well, I found a bunch of them in mine. And, no, wait, there's another one in here. Let me see. Oof. Yep, here it is. So I grabbed the three that appealed to me. Let's see, do these have names? Yeah, okay, this is Endless Color Custom Nail Trio. This one is the blue, yellow, and green is in Fashion Icon. I honestly really got it for the blue and the green. I'm not huge into yellow polishes. I got the silvery one in three shades of gray. And I got the pinky one in, what's this color called? Bear it all. All right. Next, I got one of those microfiber hair wraps, the little turby twist thing, so they can't call it that because it's a knockoff. My hair's actually short enough to where I can use these. Got some permanent markers and a bunch of different colors. That's, I'm always using permanent markers for stuff, and I liked the fact that they came in a bunch of colors. I needed a bunch more pens, so I picked up a new pack. I picked up some vinyl top liner, because I, like, I would like to actually stick this in my fridge to keep stuff from sliding around. Here is the pattern, if you were so curious. 
I got some new bath gloves. I like to use these when I'm in the shower. And what I was really excited for when I saw, they have a bunch of the Milani, uh, I just, no wait, that's not what it is. That was something else, thank God. They have a bunch of the gel powder eyeshadows from Milani, which they still sell online on the Milani website for $4.49. But they, C, CVS stopped carrying the colored ones, so I guess that's where these are from. So I don't know the names of these, but these were four that I didn't have, because I have a bunch of them. This is light pink, a light blue, which I might have. I was not totally sure. I have a deeper purple and a deeper pink, which I thought was really cool. Now, stuff that I picked up for Easter. Uh, my husband and I are doing Easter baskets for each other because we're goobers like that. And what I picked up was, instead of regular baskets, because they'll never get used again, I got these little buckets because then we can reuse them around the house. We can reuse them if we do this again next year. So mine is a green one. His is a blue one, but I have already stuck stuff in it, so I can't go grab it. It is actually the color of this blue right here, really close. And instead of getting Easter plastic grass, I got the decorative shred that they carry in like the party wrapping section, because I like that a little better. The Easter grass always winds up annoying me. And for his basket, I actually grabbed him a water pistol to torment our nephew with during Easter. So that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I really appreciate it. If you guys have found some great stuff featured Dollar Tree, let me know down below so I know what to look for. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye.